Next, we are going to do E. E deals with remembering order of operation, or PEMDAS. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, adding, and subtraction, subtracting. So here, we have 2 plus 5 times the quantity 9 plus 7 minus 2 squared plus the square root of 16. So the square root of 16 stands out. Before we do PEMDAS, or the order of operations, it's okay to simplify the square root of 16. We know the square root of 16 is actually going to be 4. So now this is just plus 4. Now we can start with our order of operations. First, I will deal with the parentheses. Remember, take this one step at a time. First, I do 9 plus 7, which is 16. I will then bring everything else down. 2 plus 5 times 16 minus 2 squared plus 4. Now we do E, exponents. 2 plus 5 times 6, oh, minus 2 squared. We do have an exponent. So first we do 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. Bring everything else down. 2 plus 5 times 16 minus 4 plus 4. Next we do multiplication or division. So we have multiplication. So I do 5 times 16. Bring everything else down. 5 times 16 will give us 80. So that's 2 plus 80 minus 4 plus 4. Now we are left with adding and subtracting. So we need to work from left to right. 2 plus 80 82, bring everything else down. 82 minus 4 will get us 78 plus 4. Well, 78 plus 4 would bring us back to 82. And 82 would be our final answer. F. F is negative 18 divided by 2. So this is just a simple division problem, but do not forget our signs. We use our little Christmas tree. 18 divided by 2, that's going to give us 9. We have a negative 18 times a positive 2. That's going to leave us with a negative answer. So our answer is negative 9. G. We have 144 divided by 2 times the quantity, 2 plus 2, all divided by 32. Once again, this is a PEMDAS problem. So first we deal with parentheses, which is 2 plus 2. So 2 plus 2 would be 4. So we bring everything else down. Next, exponents. Well, we have 3 squared. We have an exponent. So we deal with that, bring everything else down. 3 squared is 9. So we have 144 divided by 2 times 4. So now we have to simplify everything in the numerator before we can divide the numerator and the denominator. So next, we only have multiplication and division. So we work left to right. 144 divided by 2 
will give us 72 divided by 2 times 4, sorry, 72 times 4 all over 9. So then we have to do 72 times 4 and 72 times 4 will give us 288 all divided by 9. Well, we need to simplify this all the way. Okay, can 9 go into 288? Well, indeed it can. 32 times. So 32 is our final answer. H. Negative 3 minus negative 15. So we have to remember our integer rules. Our integer rules for subtracting is add the opposite. Add the opposite. So we now have negative 3 plus the opposite of negative 15 is positive 15. So it's now negative 3 plus 15. So now we have to use adding rules. We have a negative, we have a positive. Those are different signs. Different signs we subtract. 15 minus 3 would give a 12. 15 is the larger number. 15 is a positive. So my answer is going to be a positive 12. Think about it, guys. If we look at our adding problem we get, if you have negative $3 and I give you an extra $15, are you still going to be in the negative or are you going to have positive amount of money? Now moving on to fractions. Fractions. Remember, our first step is to change all mixed numbers to improper fractions. Change all mixed numbers to improper fractions. Then we either do adding, subtracting rules, multiplying, or dividing rules. So first, with adding, remember, when adding and subtracting, okay, adding and subtracting, we need common denominators. So I have one-fifth plus two-fourths. There's no mixed numbers, so I need to get common denominators. Here, I would multiply the first fraction's numerator and denominator by four. I would then multiply the numerator and denominator of the second fraction by five. That will give us the least common multiple of five and four. So that gives me the new fractions of 4 over 20 plus 10 over 20, which is 4 plus 10 would be 14 over 20. Remember, when adding and subtracting, you keep the common denominator, you just add or subtract the numerators. We are not done. You always need to simplify your fractions. How we simplify is we need to find the greatest common factor that goes into both the numerator and the denominator. In this case, the greatest common factor 
we could divide both these by 2. 2 can divide evenly into both 14 and 20. That would then give us 7 over 10. I know that's simplified because the factors of 7 are 1 and 7. 7 can't go evenly into 10. Therefore, that's my simplified answer. B. We have 5 and 1 third minus 2 and 3 fourths. The first thing we need to do is change all mixed numbers to improper fractions. So that gives me 16 over 3, because I did 3 times 5 plus 1 all over the denominator, minus 4 times 2 is 8 plus 3 is 11 over 4. We're subtracting. We need common denominators. So, the least common multiple of 3 and 4 is 12. So, I multiply the numerator and denominator by 4 in the first fraction, and in the second fraction, multiply the numerator and denominator by 3. That will give us the new fractions of 16 times 4 is 64 over 12 minus 33 over 12. So that leaves me with 64 minus 33, which gives me 31 over 12. That is simplified. The greatest common factor of 31 and 12 is 1, but you could leave it like that, or 12 goes into 31 evenly two times with 7 over 12 remaining. If you put it back into a mixed number, it's easier to tell if it's simplified or not. C. We have negative 4 and 7 eighths times 9. So, when multiplying fractions, we do numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator. So, you multiply the tops, you multiply the bottoms. Remember, our first thing is to get all improper fractions, or mixed numbers into improper fractions. 4 times 8, 32, plus 7 is 39, so that gives us negative 39 over 8, times 9. Well, we need to make 9 into a fraction. So remember, 9 is all, all whole numbers are over 1. So now, Negative 39 times 9, or 39 times 9, will give us negative 351 over 8 times 1 is 8. The greatest common factor here is 1, so this is our final answer. Always remember to check your sign at the end. We have a negative times a positive. If we look at our Christmas tree, a negative times a positive is going to leave me with a negative answer. <laughs>